Hello guys and welcome back to the FTB Revelation series. So this episode will be a bit weird, it will be divided in time, so even though it's only a few minutes long, it's actually been recorded over a few weeks because as you uh, perhaps know we had issues with the server with extreme lag spikes and, uh, and the timeout issues. So basically, I haven't been able to, uh, to, to play on the server for quite some time. So this was recorded before the server had the problem. And uh, I'm currently building some compacting drawers. Uh, because when you start to get quite a few different types of ingots, you, you need somewhere to put them. And uh, in, in an orderly way, of course. And to, uh, when you have more than a few of the uh, different types, then you really need a controller in the center. This acts as two, it has two jobs basically. First of all, it's very convenient to just drop all, right, right click or it's double right click on the controller just to dump everything I have in my, in my inventory directly into the drawers connected to it. It's extremely convenient, especially now in the beginning, and it will be for some time actually. Uh, since when I'm out mining, I can just dump it in there if, if they have a spot and the rest can go into some kind of sorting, sorting input. So right now I'm just finishing up. The compacting drawers are so convenient because all the ingots and the nuggets and the blocks, uh, th there are no intermediate steps. So th th this will save me a lot of time when, when crafting. And um, hopefully it will also be successfully hooked up with uh, the, an A2 network as well. And I will use that for some time until I have my endless amount of, uh, of storage disks. But I also crafted a key just to lock everything in place. So uh, that is kind of stable. And now you see that we jumped a bit into the future because all the cobblestone is gone and I've started with the reorganization of the base and trying to map up some corridors and, uh, and doing some minor decorations. So um, this will be done over time as well. Uh, and I also need a lot of glass. I want to have almost a 100% glass ceiling or glass roof. In this case, it's the same thing. Uh, so I'm setting up this uh, small system for the smeltery to auto import or auto insert sand into the, into the smeltery and then output the liquid glass into the uh, the uh, the costing basin and here i learned that not only lava is a hot fluid liquid glass is also hot so that's why my first fluid duct blew up and i actually have to use <laughs> i have to use a hardened fluid duct so of course when you think about it it's logical but I only thought of lava in the beginning, so I was a bit surprised, even though I shouldn't have been. <laughs> so now let's see. Um, so now it works quite well with the new hardened fluid duct. Just to place my stand in here. The servo will automatically input it into the oops into the smeltery. We still have some lava here. This is a manual refill. And once it's done, the liquid glass will be output. I've done this several times before, so I, I'm sure you know exactly how this works. Um, but if you don't, take a bucket and put it here on the casting table. I'll put some liquid glass into it and then use that as the, uh, as the filter for this uh, whiteness filter always enabled. And if you take a look down here, we are starting to get some glass, so uh, 
I will put that up. I think I'll use that in the corridors. This is the this is normal glass. So if I break it, it will be gone. But if I use this glass, I'm actually able to reuse it. So I think I'll switch to use that. Uh, in the end, it, it's not a big difference. The clear glass is a classic one. It always looks good. It connects really well and I can reorganize it easily and the, you know. So I think I'll use that. I'm not sure if the uh, corridors will be three blocks wide or if I, perhaps I have these three blocks and then uh, like the main hallway is, uh, is four. Uh, and this will, the plan is to span this out over in, into the bay or above the bay. But, uh, but, but we'll see. So I'll try to figure that out once we <laughs> once we go forward. But this is running, so if you see me with tons of clear glass, this is where it comes from. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I had uh, I had some uh, recording issues. I mentioned it briefly before. So let's see, two cooked muttons. I think they will be leather later. So I have crafted some stuff. Accelerator, energy acceptor, I have some fibers, quartz fiber. I have a few stuff here. But when I recorded that some time ago, the computer crashed totally. It froze so hard, I could had to restart it on the, uh, I mean, on the hardware button. That's, uh, that's quite bad. So I have no footage of this. The file was totally corrupted and I'm not able to figure it out. But basically, you know how to make fluid crystals, right? You drop charged nether serous quartz into water together with the nether quartz and redstone dust. So let's make it just, uh, just so we make this on camera as well. Nether quartz uh, here. <clears throat> charge surface quartz. We get it from the energetic infuser. So as you can see, now it's charging from normal surface quartz into the charged version. And uh, let's see. And then we drop that and that and that. And that will give us these uh, normal fluid crystals, fluix. Uh, have a good one. Let's see. And then what? Well, then we can pulverize it. If we run these in a pulverizer, we get the fluix dust. So I have a, you have seen this in my tutorials before and combine that with, uh, let's see, with the sand, well, why it's not showing. Combine it with sand, at least, anyway, and that will give you the fluid seed. But if we drop them in here, they might grow a bit. The problem is that they grow so slowly and uh, and uh, well, it would take forever. I think this was faster before, but I leave them here just so you can uh, so you can see how uh, how slow it is. It feels like it's slower than uh, than ever. Uh, all right. So of course we need to hook up some accelerators and to craft them, you know the normal recipes. Yes, check J JAI. Quartz glass is made from quartz surface dust and uh, and some normal glass and, and things like that. But we also want a toggle bus. I think this is the one I didn't build before. So now if we have the toggle bus, I think that's pretty much it. Energy, etc. All right, let's see if we can just hook this up so we can get some crystals 
a bit faster. So here we put some some this. This will not be here for very long. Energy acceptor, and then we want to have the accelerator. I'm gonna pick those up. Like that, and then let's see. Not not that one. Didn't I have the normal? Doesn't. Oh, I used them. Damn. We need crystals and fiber. Two of them. I used them up. Forgot about that. And then we put the toggle bus here. And then one more of these. All right, great. So just give me one lever and we are good to go. Put that here, put that here. Done. So now it's work. Now it's working. 1%. It didn't even... Oop, missed it even even grow 1% during that time. So hopefully this will work better. I can build another one, of course. Crystal growth. But um, yeah, this is normal. But I need Fluix blocks and I want, I'd rather build them. Actually, it doesn't matter. Four of these or eight of these. So that doesn't matter. I'll, but these ones can be built with pure crystals. So from now on, I will use pure crystals for basically everything. And, uh, and that will speed things up a bit. Uh, or it, I don't have to gather as much resources, which I'm low on anyway. 38 crystals is not much at all. So I think we can wrap up the episode right here. I think it's good to see that I'm, it's back in business. We can grow crystals. I will grow a stock of these. Let's see for... How much? 8% already. Quite a big difference. And perhaps I make two or three more. You can also use this crystal growth chamber, but I will need six of them anyway. So to start with, I will build the normal ones and then eventually we'll use this instead, of course. You have one final thing. This is reorganized again. Because even though I set filters on the left side of the barrels, all of a sudden I had the the uh, the refined oil on the wrong side anyway, and that was clogging the system, so nothing worked. But doing like this seems to be working just fine. So if I'm if I will expand this, which I think I can, I have more than I am using. I think I just build them in parallel, so coming out here and on top of these and then have them just side by side. We'll see. For now, the uh, this one is upgraded from before. It can keep up, it seems. This one can keep up, even though we're crafting uh, or growing crystals. So, uh, good. We're back on track. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.